Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to RimWorld Sword and Sorcery. So, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I did go ahead and find that mod I was talking about that basically let me go into the storage thing and search by what I wanted. Uh, I would rather this did not be completely full of garden coffee. I kind of really hate that our people aren't sorting that, but we'll get to it. Like, I wish there was a way I could tell them to clean that up. Merge it. Yeah, I can. There we go. Cool. Alright, so, I think the goal today is we're going to try to get these other two tables done. And as I recruit more people, which I do need to do now, I'm going to assign them to cleaning, because this whole damn place is filthy as hell. I also want to work on the guest house, but right now, I also need normal houses. So we're going to come over here, we're going to see about building a new house uh, for the next one up. So Shog's taken care of. Cummings, I believe, is not. You in a relationship? They know if this house is going to be... Nope, just Shog. Uh, she was in a relationship with Shog. Okay. So I had to build another house over here. What is your class, Cummings? Faceless, huh? So you're basically a melee fighter. Okay. Let's go straight to... What am I using over here? Marble. I don't have much marble. I used to, and then I used it all. So I might have to switch to... Granite, I think. So structure. I'm going to leave the game running. Granite, elven carved balls. So let's see. One, two, three start here. I think we'll take it up by four. So ten. Is that what we went down? Ten? Yeah, I think there we go. Ten. Eleven. Come over six. Yeah, uh, five. No, I like six. Let's go over six. I like the idea of making this a fairly large room. Um, it'll be the largest house over here, actually. Actually, you know what? I, like I said before, I want to make interesting designs. Like, well, more unique designs, not this. Every house looks the same. One, two, three. Cancel. One, two, three. Maybe we'll do something like this. A different shape. And if I want to, I can then put in a stable over here like that. Just have it extend out from here. So that is how many? Five. Technically. No, 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 no. I don't want to replace those walls. I don't want to replace those walls. So. Three, four, five. Come down. This wooden door. What are you here? We'll build two of these. Yeah, the barn's easy to finish. Like the, I guess it is technically a barn at this point more than it's a anything else. I'm gonna cancel this though. We are going to put in a granite. Uh, elven carved embrasure to allow air to pass through. Kind of makes me want to do take this a step further, and I'm gonna put a little wooden gate there. We're gonna go with wooden fencing to come down like this. We're gonna go to terraforming. Put rich soil down. And I'm gonna let them build this first. Because right now there's not a whole lot else we can do anywhere on our facility. Yeah, I like I like this little thing I'm doing where I'm basically getting nicer looking structures. Like, I was getting kind of sick of the bland houses, like, basically just this. 
that I've been doing in so many series. I want to get more creative with it. So yeah, we should be able to get all this stuff built in a hurry. We did get some hay. God, I need more recruits so I can clean. Like, the next couple recruits I get, I don't care what their skills are, we have enough people to craft for us. We need janitors. <laughs> that is the shortage right now. We need janitors. Alright, so... Just trying to decide how I want to do this. Where's that one embrasure? So that'll let air through. Now let's go with a door. We are just going to go with a 1 by 2 door. We go with Malorn wood again. Do that. Furniture. I find it weird that there's no medieval beds that are like for royalty or what have you. Let's see about a royal green. I have no gold though. So maybe not do a royal bed. I want to, but oh wow, I don't have the <laughs> I don't have the gold to do that at all. I do have the option to go down to the futon thing again. I've only built one of those so far. Oh no, three if you count these two. Yeah, I'll put one of those in here. I think we can put one of you guys over here to provide some light. Uh, furniture, let's get some filled in lamps in here. That'll do. For this, I think we'll put them on the on the ends right here. So yeah, this place is coming together fine. Zone, let's go ahead and tell it to build a roof here. And I'm gonna tell it to never build a roof here. Yeah, and see, these animals are all cozy already. I think we're going to go back to the checkered carpet. Hmm. We've got red and blue already. We don't have green. Let's do green. Uh, let's do the green in here, actually. Hmm. I used mosaic wood floors for this. What's another good one? A light wood floor? I've not built one of those. Let's do that for out here. And then furniture. I feel like maybe an elvish table made out of... I really don't know. Um, hmm. Lorne what, maybe? Nah. That's a big table. I don't think I need a table like that. The Lornwood dwarven table would work. Just set it up like that. Except I wouldn't like that, personally. Okay. Chairs. And Malorn would again for these. Just go normal diamond dining chairs for this one.
Pretty much everybody gets a desk. I don't know what to... But she's like a different class. She's like a warrior up in here. I don't know if I'm, what I'm going to give her. But I do know I should probably put in dressers. And some dwarven end tables. That actually looks pretty nice. Yep, get that carpet in place, please. And yeah, we'll be able to keep everybody comfortable in here. Also, zone, we're going to do a growing zone right here. And I want trees. So we've already planted... Hmm, olive trees, peach trees, I think we're going to go with orange trees. Just have their own little orchard there. So I'm pretty sure I have olive trees planted somewhere. Is that what this is? Olive tree, yep. Nice. Just be a little growing zone for olive uh, for orange trees. Yeah, this house is coming together quickly. And this goes to Cummings. Boom. That's your home, Cummings. That's a Rathus Rider. Good. That's not show that's not being an issue again. Kill. Uh, let's see. For you. I think what I'm gonna do for you is I am going to do. I don't know if I'm going to use this combat stand. I might. Hmm. Not sure how exactly I'd go about getting the combat stands working. Hmm. <laughs> I do want a martial arts target in here. That's kind of what she, what she does. She's a melee fighter. Let's go with an iron combat stand. We'll put them in each corner of this room. I really wish I still had like dart boards or something. But this is like plenty of room for her to train. And I mean, I know people, other, you know, characters are gonna come here and tr use the training facility. It's just how it works. So yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm really not sure what other. Like I'm running out of house uh, setup ideas, but I'll get it. They finished, did they? I'm not sure what else to put in that room. Probably some rugs. I mean, rugs would be useful. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Like how they just brought a set of gloves. I, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna micromanage that. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go back to Rimkia for some rugs. I find it so odd that there aren't really any other rug options. Hmm. Put one here, put one here. Put two there. And maybe put one at the foot of the bed. Hmm. Actually, I think we're going to deconstruct that. Because of the light-colored floor, 
I think are better, but oh, I didn't even see these. Uh, Devil Strand. Holy sh... Okay. Well, we're gonna put one of those down. Yeah, I didn't know we Rimkia offered that large of a <laughs> rug. All right then. Her house, I think, is complete with that. I mean, something to break up just the big empty floor is what I was looking for. Also, let's look at our animals real quick. Let's find a husky. An unbonded husky. Sausage, maybe? I'm gonna give you sausage to Iron Wolf. Because it was requested. However, I, it looks, unfortunately, Iron Wolf, it looks like I can't give you the other half of the, of your request. I can't name him. Like, they're not gonna let me change his name. So your dog's name is Sausage, sorry. Because, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Iron Wolf requested a particular animal companion, wanted a dog, a husky in particular. So, yeah. I think I can suspend this job pretty soon. At least at one of these. Or not. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna let them keep doing it. When I see them wandering outside to get more stone blocks, I'll stop them. Or, we'll just refresh their, <laughs> their supply. If I just do it this way, the animals will come pick them up, not my... not my people. <laughs> Good god, the horde. Nice. What's our food reserves look like? Oh, we're fine. Okay, let's see here. That's one house down. Essentially. Gosh. Didn't intend to do that, though. Crap. I didn't intend to build it so far down that it would, you know, obstruct that, but shit. Alright, that's fine. It is fine. <laughs> One, two, three, and then we'll start here. Because I was hoping to have, like, a thoroughfare in the middle, but kind of messed that up. To be fair, with the water in the way and this up here, it'd be, it would have been a little tricky if I took it any further north, so this is fine. So one, two, three. Let's see, I'm just kind of free-forming it right now, just trying to think how I want to build this house. Nope, don't want to get that close to you. I could do this. And how far out did we go? Four? And then down. And across. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a it's a unique design. Whether or not it's a design I'll be happy with, we'll see. Hmm. You know what I feel would make this better, actually? Just a little bit of extra space. Go for it. Because, see, this way I think I could build a bed right here. And then, like, uh, study over here. Kind of like what I did over here. So 
So is that all I could fit in there was one orange tree? Also, floors, please. Tilled soil. Just gonna throw two in here, uh, both in this little entryway. And I'm going to build. We're gonna start with the furniture. And I'm gonna actually make a larger kitchen table, like dining room table, like right. Hmm. Wish there was a bigger one, frankly. Yeah, nothing that'll just go evenly in there. Hmm. Let's just go back to this, then. See, because what I could do... Who's getting married? Put a table here. Brock and Lavender. Great, this can be your houses, Brock and Lavender, because... Yeah, you know, I can put... I can kill two birds with one stone by giving you this house. Maybe we have a little dining nook. Ooh, I actually like that better. Ah, let's do the dining nook. See, this couple likes to... <laughs> likes to entertain, is what we're gonna go with. Furniture. Let's go with a purple double... Not Yeah, purple royal bed. I could make this... I don't have enough jade. Okay, cool. Malorn wood again. Yeah, I really like Malorn wood as a material in this. And we're actually going to do this. I'm going to go with a granite embrasure here. Double Malorn wood door going in here. Furniture, we're going to go with Dwarven carved end tables. Oh, hell, I forgot something. That all of our houses get. Uh, Devil Strand bed in the bedroom. For the animal. I think I'll get rid of one of the end tables so I can put the dog on the other side. That works. I think we'll build two of these, like this. Two nice big rugs. Uh, for floors, we're gonna go with maybe purple check carpet for the bedroom. And then what do we want to do for the rest of the floors? I really like the mosaic wood floors. It's one of my favorite floors in the game so far. I think this looks awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a writing desk on this side. Furniture. I'm gonna go with the normal armchair on this side. I'll put another normal armchair on this side, and we're gonna put a writer's table made out of Malorn wood. Just like that, two different tables for people to relax and work on. I can't really set an owner for that, I wish I could. Yeah, we're gonna need another Devil Strand Harvest before we can do much more. Hey, yeah, look at that. The orange trees are coming in. Now, if I wanted to, I could try to fit 
our little barn right here. I wouldn't even need to put warming options in this one just because I've got so many already in here. Let's go for more floors. Let's go with a barn floor as always. Yeah, and I really do like the idea of, like, having the uh, little um, fenced-in yard for them. Uh, for the ones shaped like this, like, I'm not going to go back and give it to this one. This would be kind of weird to put in. And this one, I could technically put one here. Which I'm going to do, actually. zone, remove roof area, and just make sure they never put roof roofing in this area. We're going to go terraforming, we're going to go rich soil. I guess the rest of that's already rich soil. Cool, get to it. I'm going to deconstruct here. I think we're going to deconstruct here. Because if I deconstruct those two spots right there, and put in the embrasures, the heat will go into here and in here. The heat will flow so much better. And if I put fruit, uh, fruit trees in all these areas, my people are not going to cut them just whenever they feel like. not mean to do that. Oh, I did mean to do that. Whoops. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, no, this is right. More floors. Purple check. Yep. Good, good, good. And if I disallow sowing, people should just harvest. Eh, we'll see. Okay. That works out beautifully. So now the food, w uh, the heat will flow nicely. Still need you guys to finish this though. Uh, floors, tilled soil. Knock this out, will ya? Yeah, see our animals are just basically moving into whatever areas are available. Once this bed is built, which can take a while because I, I don't have gold. I might have to next time I get a trader. And like I said, next time I get people in the area too, I'm going to be trading for... Um, not trading, but I'm going to try to recruit some people. You just leave the shield there. You can put it somewhere. Training halls working out fine. Let's go zone, growing zone, here, and here. I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with another, um, let's go with the cocoa tree there. I think I'm going to go with another orange tree, because I don't have many oranges. And these are really tiny growing zones. Hey, look how quickly our dudes are getting on that. Good job, guys. Wish you would have finished that, but good job nevertheless. Tattered apparel is going to be a problem for a little while. OK. 
Okay, I need to finish this floor over here before I can call this room good. I need to put in some of those lights as well. Uh, they don't really need to be at the front of the building, though. I think I'll put them there and cancel this one. I think just one light in here is sufficient. I don't think the animals really care about light, but I'll put an Ithilden light out there for them. Yeah, for structures this side, two of those braziers seem to be perfect. The sooner you guys finish this stuff, the better, please. Yeah, I need Devil Strand badly. And I know we lost Devil Strand crop to um, the Cold Snap, which is still insanely annoying to me. Hope we get some visitors soon, though, because I really do need recruits. I don't even care if it's a raid. Because I can convert a bunch of these into prisons if I need to. See, I like these little garden plots. Although, considering how small this is, I might not ever be able to put uh, trees here. Like, I wonder if I could get Rolana to do... no. You know what? You are our primary dude for this. If I bring him over here and then lock him in, will he do it? He is. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to lock him in and let him do it. I was about to turn this into a flower area just because, I mean, there aren't, isn't much room for... Yeah, I wasn't sure they would ever be able to build anything here. Like, any plants. Like, I didn't think the trees, like, there was enough room. But two trees is sufficient, because I don't really care about the crop. I just kind of like the look of everybody having this little garden area. So only Arathas and... Ryder... Don't have a uh, garden. Well, no, these guys don't have a garden. And he doesn't either, although it'd be kind of... Interesting to build a garden next to the hospital, that is where we make our heal route. Hmm. Everything in here is refrigerated, is it? <laughs> okay. I do like the way these two houses turned out. Now the question does arise, what do we do for the next one? Because I already know who's moving into here. I just don't have the gold. I think I'm going to tell our animals to haul the rest of this. Yeah, if they can. Yeah, this place is a mess. Hell, the inside of our homes are messes right now, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but yeah, plenty of stone blocks for our craftsmen to get back to work on. Alright, so I do like how the houses have been built. And yeah, that we've figured out uh, how exactly to provide the food. Sorry, the right drinks down here. However, I do really need more recruits, so I may play for a little while off-camera to try to get some recruits, if for no other reason, just to make them clean. And 
I'll probably do some mining for some gold, because, yeah, we need some more raw materials before we can continue. Uh, like, this isn't going to get done till we have Devil Strand and gold. And, yeah, we don't have much of a Devil Strand crop, because uh, our farmer is really overwhelmed. We don't really only have, if we look at our workers planting, uh, growing, we have a couple people who it's their primary responsibility, but I feel like we could use another one. So yeah, we'll have to see about that next time because I am all out of time for today. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please by all means feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. With that, I'll see you guys next time for some more RimWorld Sword and Sorcery where we still... where we're going to continue working on the... Ooh, we got a traitor. Uh, where we'll continue working on making the perfect medieval colony for our people. May not work out for us, but I think we have a good foundation here. And yeah, I keep wanting to build a guest house over here, and I keep having to put it off because to make a guest house over here, I'd have to tear down all this, and then my dudes have nowhere to sleep. Then I'll have a bunch of pissed off people who are sleeping on the ground outside, and let's try to avoid that. <laughs> Either way, we'll see how that works out next time. Thanks again for watching, guys.